certifications. But first, tell me, do you guys like this merch? This is like a champion hoodie or a champion pullover. This feels like something. This, this feels like high quality. This feels like something I would wrestle in. It says just saying no to water. This is kind of like a joke because of how ridiculous just saying no to water is. On the back. It says test hydration and fuck cutting. If you guys think I should tweak anything, if you guys like the design, if you guys would buy the design, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna hold a contest for whoever wins is gonna be the one designing all my merch. I want you guys to just draw a picture of my face. I just want you guys to draw like any angle, any, just the best picture of my face that you can, the best cartoon picture of my face and submit it to my email. It's gonna be at the top of the description, okay? If you think you can draw, if you think you can win, then hit me up. I'll obviously be paying whoever wins to design each individual shirt and each individual like piece of merch. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I only wanna make stuff that you guys wanna buy. Yeah, I'm not gonna make merch until I think it comes out right. I thought this was gonna be a patch, so I kinda wanna wait until I can make this into a patch instead of just an iron-on. But if you guys are cool with the iron-on, then let me know, cause like, this feels like a decent iron-on. It's not like something that's just gonna like peel off. This feels like something that I would wrestle in. This feels comparable to my J-Rob shirt, you know? what I mean and I've wrestled so much in that I've wrestled so so much in that so like I like it let me know but jumping right into it weight certifications okay this is a very complicated time in your life wrestling season hasn't uh, hasn't started yet a lot of you guys haven't wrestled yet you guys don't really know what this is for or why you're doing this or why everyone's freaking out and basically weight certifications is you're going to this guy sanctioned by your school or by the state and he is going to check your height check your weight check your body fat percentage and check your hydration to make sure to determine what the absolute lowest weight you can be for the season is this is supposed to be all natural this is supposed to be like like you just walk in but obviously it's very very widespread that kids cheat for this and until they make rules to get around the cheating, right? I'm gonna tell you guys how they cheat exactly. If someone watches this that's in the commission, then do something about this. I think that there should be hydration tests at every single tournament before every single weigh-in, and it should be in like an area where they cannot get to water. All right, until the schools do something about this, you're gonna be killing the sport of wrestling. So first things first is cutting weight. All right, so cutting weight is a very complicated thing. I've made a ton of videos about it, but basically, what kids do is they improve their diet, they get to a lower weight, and then once they have reached that lower weight, once they've reached that base level weight where they wake up, they're butt naked, they take a shit, pee, and they weigh themselves, and that's their weight. When I say they improve their diet, that means like you can lose a lot of weight if you go from eating pasta eating bread, eating corn, eating like all these grains and carbs. If you change eating grains and carbs to eating high fat, high protein diet, then you'll lose a lot of weight. So you need to make a change in your diet. You need to make yourself as light as possible while still being fully hydrated and fully like being well fed. And remember, that's only like you don't find that after practice. You don't find that at the end of the night. You find that in the morning after you go to the bathroom and before you eat anything, before you drink anything. All right, that is your weight, that is your weight. Not after you just wrestled two practices and one on a run, that's not like your natural weight. All right, so find your natural weight, find your minimum natural weight, and then as soon as you get to the lowest point, then you start cutting out the water. Then you start following all my tips for limiting your hydration. And now, like, a lot of people very easily get consumed with the whole making weight aspect that they don't take into consideration the other three parts of weight certifications. They check your height, they check your body fat percentage and they check your hydration. So with your height, the taller you are, the lower your body fat percentage will be. And now this is important because if your body fat percentage is under 7% or 6.5%, uh, I forget which one it is. In Florida, I think it was seven. But if it's under that percentage, then you have to go to a doctor and they have to clear you to wrestle at that weight because they say that it's not natural or it's not good to be under that body fat percentage. You combat that by when they test your height, then you crouch a little bit. You just bend your knees a little bit. You, are, you bend your back. You try to make yourself as short as possible because the shorter you are, the higher your body fat percentage will be and the more you can get away with. And the last thing that they do is they test your hydration, all right? To test your hydration, they give you a little cup and there's a stick in it and you have to pee in the cup. So for the most part, they don't have like individual cubicles or, and they don't really keep a very watchful eye on the wrestlers. It's usually just some guy sitting in uh, the coach's office and he like, he just waits for everyone to do their thing. So what you're gonna do is if you're one of the first people, then you're gonna grab your cup, you're gonna go over there and you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait for a JV kid or someone who's not cutting weight 
to have already went back, put their cup down, and washed their hands. Make up some excuse for why you can't pee. Make up some excuse for like whatever. If they ask you, I really doubt that they'll act like, they'll be like, what are you doing in there? Like I really doubt that they'll say that. What you're waiting for is someone to come back and start washing their hands. As soon as someone else starts turning on the faucet, then you turn on the faucet and you put a little bit of water into your pee cup and then that'll make you pass hydration. You want it to be like a light yellow, like a golden yellow, all right? You don't want your pee to be weird because they're gonna be like, all right, there's clearly something up with this, unless you're like a heavyweight and your pee's naturally clear. Cheating the hydration tests and cheating weight certifications was very, very widespread when I was a wrestler, and I think that it is vital to new wrestlers to learn because if you don't know how to do this, then you won't make the proper scratch weight and the kids that are cheating will have an advantage on you. Be very careful with that. I think it is up to the schools to be more diligent about, they should be seeing where the kids are when they're peeing, when they're like, they have to be very, very diligent about this because cheating is so widespread and it's so common. Cutting weight is one of those things that is destroying the sport. It's destroying the sport. This, like wrestling could be marketed as one person football, but because of weight cutting, kids don't want to join football and wrestling because it's super counterintuitive. In football, you have to be huge. In wrestling, you have to be as light as you can. So if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget about my contest. And if you like my merch, check me out in the comments. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.